In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you a basic exercise of special data processing using ArcP and R in a Jupyter Notebook. For this exercise, you need to have installed and configured Jupyter Notebook to work with ArcP and R. If you haven't done it yet, please see the video and the post in my blog with the installation instructions. The links are in the description of this video. Okay, let's open a command shell. Change to our ArcP environment and start Jupyter Notebook. Let's create a new notebook. It can be either a Python or an R notebook. The purpose of this exercise is to clip a raster image with a shapefile polygon, run a majority filter, and then compare frequency of cell values between the cropped image and the filter image. I found it easier to clip an image with R, so let's start with R. First, Let's change the kernel so we work with an R kernel. Let's set the working directory and load the raster package. Then let's load the data. To clip the image, we just need this line of code. Let's plot the image. One of the advantages of a notebook is that we can include the narrative along with the code and plots in the same document. For example, we can add a new cell of type text using Markdown. For example, we could add the title for this document. And we could also add a description for each piece of code. Okay, we can examine the histogram of the crop image. Finally, let's export the crop image as a new raster file. Okay, the next step is to apply a majority filter to the raster image. I found that applying a filter was much faster with RGs than with R, so let's use RP. First, let's change the kernel to work with Python. We could add a title also, so we know that now we are going to work with RP. Let's import RP and define the workspace. Then let's list the raster files in the workspace. Let's execute the majority filter. Let's save the output. Let's verify if the new raster file was created effectively. Finally, I want to compare the histograms of the crop and filter images. When switching back to R, we are starting a new session, so we have to set the working directory and load packages and data again. Let's insert a text cell to indicate that we are working with R now. Finally, let's compare the frequency of cell values in the crop image versus the filter image. We can see the table showing the differences between the two images. An advantage of these notebooks that's worth to note is that it is quite easy to share them. For example, we can upload our notebook to GitHub. We can see that GitHub renders the notebook just as we saw them locally. If perhaps we want a cleaner interface, we can use MVViewer. 
we just need to copy the URL at GitHub and paste it into this box. As we can see, the result is quite satisfactory. Okay, that's it. Hope you liked this video. For more detailed information, check out the links in the description. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.